White Sox and Royals opening a three-game set on July 4th. Adam Dunn still seeking his first homer since June 12th. Pick things up in the fourth. It's 3-0 Royals. White Sox threatening against Jeff Francis. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Lexi Ramirez grounds it to the double play. Adam Dunn scores. White Sox get on the board 3-1. Next batter, Alex Rios. He goes down swinging. Francis able to do some damage control. Move to the seventh. It's now 3-2. Mark Burley getting some defensive support. Chris Getz lifts one to right and check out Carlos Quentin. We look twice because it's so nice. Next batter, Mitch Meyer, he goes down looking. Burley went seven innings, gave up three runs on seven hits and a walk, struck out four. Bottom of the eighth, Aaron Cronow on the hill, one on for Adam Dunn. That ball high, stretch, stretch, stretch. Back at the wall, you can put it on the board. Yes, yes, a two-run homer for the big man. Adam Dunn and the Sox lead it four to three. Listen to this Dunn's eighth of the year. Top of the ninth, Sergio Santos in to close things out. Eric Hosmer not cooperating. Leads off with a deep connection to center and then steps on the gas as the ball carries back onto the field. So Hosmer ends up at third with a triple, but he would argue. Well, does he have an argument? The umpires would go down, take a look at video replay, and see it clearly goes over the wall. So the umpires come back on the field. They would overturn the call. It is a long ball, so Hosmer jogs home. His seventh of the year. We're knotted at four. Bottom of the ninth, Aaron Crow still pitching. Runners on second and third, two out. Adam Dunn with a chance to deliver again. That's a buck. Game's over. That's a buck. And it's Game's over. Win it. This ball game is over. Yes. White Sox win it 5-4 with a walk-off balk. Adam Dunn, Paul Canerco, and Brent Lillibridge had two hits apiece. Dunn passed Joe DiMaggio on the all-time homer list.